Hello everybody, Alex, also known as Solanus Dracone here, and with me as usual is Rambler81. Hello, Rambler. Good day, everybody. Rambler explicitly, specifically told me not to start recording until I've opened up the game for this one here, so that is why you're seeing only banners in the blackness. I'm going to go ahead and launch the game now, and uh, we'll see why he was so up about me doing that. Oh, hi. Yeah. yeah. Need to screen share too, by the way. Yeah, that's the sort of thing that is a problem where we uh, start off recording before the game has actually been launched. Oh. Hi, Flowey. Oh, hi. It seems as if, as if everyone is perfectly happy. Yeah. Monsters have returned to the surface. Yep, yep, that was good work that we did. Well, peace and prosperity will rule across the land. Mm-hmm. Take a deep breath. <sighs> There's nothing left to worry about. <clears throat> okay, I was about to die there. It's never this simple with Flowey. Well, there is is one thing. One last threat. One being with the power to erase everything. Oh? Everything everyone's ever wor worked so hard for. You know who I'm talking about, don't you? You? That's right. I'm talking about you. Gasp. You still have the power to reset everything. Oh, do we? Toriel, Sans, Asgore, Alphys, Papyrus, Undyne. If you so choose, everyone will be ripped from this timeline and sent back before all this ever happened. So they're talking about a complete file reset. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Nobody will rem remember anything. You'll be able to do whatever you want. That power, I know that power. That's the power you were fighting to stop, wasn't it? Uh-huh. The power that I wanted to use. But now, the idea of resetting everything, I, I don't think I could do it all again. Not after that. Oh, things are going to change. So... Please, just let them go. Let Frisk be happy. Let Frisk live their life. That shit ain't gonna happen. But if I can't change your mind, if you do end up erasing everything, you'll have to erase my memories too. Will do. I'm s sorry. You've probably heard this a hundred times already, haven't you? No, I'm still blind on this run. Well... That's all. See you later, Dara. Okay. So, basically, they're all living a happy life, and we get to erase everything and do it all over again. Yeah, well, Toby wants to take, it, take this seriously, you know? Well, that is because we are starting the Kill Everything run. That's right. We are doing the hardest angry run possible here and for that purpose i am making sure that i have disabled steam cloud for this because i am told that there are irreversible things that happen fuck you phone irreversible <laughs> things that happen when you uh, complete the game in a murderous fashion so true reset is going to happen but i don't want this to sync up to the steam cloud I want to be able to reverse whatever is done because I want the option someday to play this again, uh, being able to enjoy it at my own pace, of course, and not have to worry about some stain on my record. So true reset, baby. And because of the spirit of this run, because of what we're going to be doing... God damn, this is fidgety. We are naming the child Kira. That's right. Any, uh... Any Death Note fans out there will recognize the name. Yes. Should I go get my potato chips? Yeah, you go get your overly animated potato chips. And I will eat them. Eat them stealthily. So, By the way. Oh, sorry. So the, uh, the goal here, kill absolutely everything. And by that, I don't just mean what we run across. We are actively seeking out to murder the entire monster race. So there may be quite a bit of grinding involved. And I don't know if I'm inclined to skip it or not, but everybody's dying. Make no attachments. Game of Thrones is on. By the way, let's do a little something different with the uh, Flowey encounter this time, because I probably forgot to bring it up during the last run, actually. Oh? Yeah. Let's uh, 
don't play Spalotti's game. Just don't touch the bullets. Okay. Yeah. Avoid them then. Yeah. Well, I'm I think, fun with them. think I did that the first time. No, I think you ran into them. Well, it's not the first time, but the last time. Uh, I think you ran into them too. Yeah. Howdy. Howdy! I'm Flowey! Flowey the flower! Hmm, you're new to the ground, aren't ya? Golly, you must be so confused. Someone ought to teach you how things work around here. I guess little old me will have to do. Oh, Flowey. Ready? Here we go! We're better than this. See that heart? That is your soul, the very culmination of your being. Your soul starts out weak, but can, get, can grow strong to gain lots of LV. What's LV stand for? Why, love, of course. You want some love, don't you? Don't worry, I'll share some with you. With your cheeky <laughs> little wink. Down here, love to share through little white friendliness palettes. Are you ready? Move around, get as many as you can. No! Hey, buddy, you missed them. Yeah? Let's try again, okay? Mm-hmm. Is this a joke? Are you brain dead? Run into the bullets! Bullets, did you say? I think it's bullets! Yeah, I distinctly remember this from the beginning of our uh, second quest run. You know what's going on here, don't you? You just wanted to see me suffer. <laughs> you have no idea. Oh, this is unavoidable. Die! Yes, I recall this being unavoidable. Okay, maybe we did, maybe we did do it the second run. I don't remember. We probably did, but you know what? I'm not playing his fucking game. What a terrible creature torturing such a poor, innocent youth. I am hoping that the dialogue will start to change pretty damn soon. Ah, oh, do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You are the first human to come here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. Much the same as we did the first time. I'm guessing the ruins count as an area that you have to clear out, huh? Uh, yeah, yeah. Actually, because this is a true reset, like, essentially, like, in-universe, it's like you've cleared everything. Like, even Fly doesn't remember what's going on, so... So, in essence, in actual factualness, this is a completely empty save now. Pretty much. So, no game progress, nothing I've done in any of the previous runs has any bearing on this, and so we're not going to be doing every single bit of dialogue until it actually starts to change. Yeah. So that's why I'm skipping through Toriel's dialogue there. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh, trigger, burger, switch, mash, blah, blah, blah. Goody, she's so proud of me. Uh-huh. Little I'm not going to bother trying to bring any easter eggs around this time because damn it, this game doesn't try to prove me wrong every single time! I know, it's so great. I get to hear the frustration and rage in your voice. So that's, uh, that's pretty much what we're going to be doing is attacking everything so weapons are going to start to matter again. Yep. Fuck the dummy. Bam! Tore that shit up. You can, you can read this part. Ah, uh, oh, the dummies are not for fighting, they are for talking. We don't want to hurt anyone, do we? Come now. Oh, we want to hurt people. I think you attacked the, the dummy the first time, too. Yeah, I don't I think I... want to play RPGs, I'm going to fight everything! Uh-huh. Why do don't the people like me after this? Dude, what do you expect from a blind-ass run? My love increased. Ooh, is she, is she unhappy about that? I'm actually surprised you managed to kill it. Dude, one-shot at it, bitch. No. Oh. I don't need no hand-holding, Toriel. You're gonna die, too. Yeah, you're gonna kill Goat Mom? I am. I have committed myself to this. What would I do if I spared her and nobody else, you know? Well, That's... you on a neutral one, essentially, and, you know, not yeah. much better than you for it for. Yep, so not gonna be doing a neutral run this time. This is a murder run. 
Should mention, by the way, Rambler81 made the thumbnail for these videos. I wanted it to be a bit different from the ones we had done before, because uh, I went back through and changed my original Undertale thumbnails just to be like the blank Undertale logo. For Second Quest, which was Pacifist Run, I went ahead and kept that, you know, whole crowd of everybody there to indicate it was a peaceful run. This time, it's something quite a bit different. Hey, Goat Mom. We're not talking to you, we're not doing anything. You're seeking just, out murder. Just give us the phone. Just give us the fucking phone, and the more you call us, the harder your murder is gonna be. Everybody is my enemy now. Everybody? Everybody. I don't have friends. And not this game either. Ah! Ah, go to hell. I noticed there's not a frog in here. No, well, Froggit knows what's up. Froggit knows. No Froggit here telling me what I'm supposed to do. Alright, I'm gonna take all the candy, of course, because I'm a rotten piece of shit. You were a rotten piece of shit the last time, too. I was a rotten piece of shit the first time. How disgusting. I am a fucking monster. Who's the Sc real monster here? Scum of the earth. Yep. Why not take it all? Think about what you've done. I'm thinking, and I think I have way more yet to do. Yeah. So, we, for honestly, for all intents and purposes, we may as well just start grinding here. Honestly, that's what I plan to do, is I'm just going to take on every enemy that I face. Wimson, go to hell. In fact, I want to do a little bit of research while we're doing this. Oh, you go ahead and multitask, because you have the prerogative. Mm-hmm. So he went silent. For no reason in particular, cinnamon or butterscotch. Bitch, I prefer cinnamon. That's right. And if you give me butterscotch, I will fucking sneeze at you. I do dislike butterscotch, just said. Yes, I would. Why don't they give me an option for that? I'm alone here. Oh. Someone to kill. Alright, uh, yeah, found the numbers, so we have to kill at least 20 monsters. Okay, so I think we got, what, three out of the way? This this one would be four? Mm-hmm. Yep. Hello, you do not have any allergies. I'm allergic to life. I'm trying to stamp it out. Uh, even your own? Oh, you think that I wouldn't do a murder-suicide? Man, that is getting dark. Well, what else do you do when everyone's dead? You murder yourself. All life has to end. Oh, goody goody gumdrops. Right in the center, bitch. Wimson, that is what you get for being shy as fuck. People just walk all over you? Pretty much. And I don't care how many times I get sent down here, because I am all about getting these these encounters. So if I end up having to do just walking around in order to incite more violence, then I will. But you said that there will be some kind of a thing that actually says, hey, you've killed everybody, move on. The game will let you know. Okay. I earned 3 XP and 2 gold. It always takes me that amount of time to get through that particular thing. Yeah, because you're terrible at it. Go to hell. Oh. We could just do mercy on Wimson. He don't want anything. Uh, if you mercy anybody, essentially that ends the run, so... I know. Please don't. That is not going to happen! Oh, Wimson. Yes, yes. All of your friends are dying in front of your eyes. Wait, you hurt my friend! Oh, yeah, I did too! <laughs> I knew you'd take some enjoyment in this. Whoa there, partner. Who said you could... Can I kill Rock? I want to uh, kill Rock. How do you kill a Rock? Uh, you beat it a lot until it's nothing but dust. Technically, does that, does that make it multiply? No, that just makes it no longer a mo Rock. That makes it pebbles. Well, what is a Rock that isn't just a giant pebble? It's just a collection of, you know, carbon and what have you anyways, right? Actually, that's more limestone than anything else. Well, I suppose it would. That depends what the rock is made out of then, doesn't it? I suppose. Shale. Clay. 
poop. Level two mouse hole, baby. Oh, naps to bluke. Oh, naps to bluke. Oh, naps to bluke. You got Funny die. thing is, if you actually trigger like the uh, genocide recognition before you get here, he just like just f's off right away. So. Oh, yeah. So I'm wondering if I can actually kill this guy properly. Well, you can attack him, sure. Oh, uh, so he will run off, I see. Well, he'll do something. Maybe he'll get violent? Ooh. Napstabook. Really? Come on, Napstabook. Come on, boo-boo. You're just yes. plugging along. Plugging along. Sing plugging a along song. while I kill side you. Side by side. The upshot of this is that, for the most part, many fights should not be a problem. I, I say that certain boss fights I'm sure will be tougher, but many fights will probably not be a massive issue if we're fully leveled. Oh, uh, you do know you can't kill ghosts, right? We're sort of incorporeal and all. Incorporeal? I was, just, I was just lowering my hit points because I didn't want to be rude. Sorry, I just made this more awkward. Uh, pretend you beat me. Oh. That's actually a lot quicker. Hey, you lost one experience point. Good for you. Lost or gained? It said lost. Oh. I lost yeah. an experience point? You lost an experience point. You die! Well, he's already dead. You die more. I'm not. I don't know. Should I been bother? Nah, hold on to my money for now. I think my skills are solid enough that... Hello. Ribbit, ribbit, sigh. Let's fight, come on. Let's fight. Come on, fucking X. Yeah, not you too, that's right, I am an asshole. Come on, who wants some? Since I have cleaned up, bitch, you unleashed me into these ruins. Should've let Flowey finish the job. That's right, all former allegiances are off. I am now a violent piece of shit. So, Vegetoids obviously have to be considered. Fake oh, you can, ribbon. I think they can add to your monster kill count, sure. So I'm wearing a bandage. And Faded Ribbon is probably better. Yep. Yep. So, come on. I want more things to kill. This is this is what I was waiting for in an RPG. Play it like every other one. Get your maximum levels. How's Final Fantasy going, by the way? Final Fantasy? Well, I'm actually recorded all the way through the 22nd right now, actually. So you know, pretty good, I'd say. I've got quite a few characters up to level 99 already. Uh, for anybody who's following my Final Fantasy runs, I am. Uh, I'm getting everybody up, pretty much. 100% level 99s all around the board if I can. So, you know, got that to look forward to. But, I've already uh, recorded the eight dragons, I've already recorded getting the extra three magicites outside of the dragon cave. So, I'm good. I'm, I'm about ready. Yeah, you'll, the only uh, RPG I've ever done that with is Earthbound, just because it makes like leveling so much easier once you get to later levels anyways. Yeah, Earthbound did take out a little bit of the grinding there. I'm not killing things as efficiently here. And I'm not keeping track of what's going on either. Yeah, I kind of lost count anyways. I don't know, I think we're at 10 or something. Probably. No. Well, so long, so long as we don't get into tutorial cells, I think we should be fine. Yeah, I, well, we're gonna get a knife pretty soon. That'll be good. Yeah, you hardly need it, though. You're kind of one-shotting all these guys anyways. But you know, I wanna do leaves. more damage. I need more DMG. Razor ATK? That's right. Fresh morning. And if I want, I can trick this guy into healing me, too. It's not worth it. Now you should be fine. Oh, jeez. It's a switch. Press it. Yes. Nothing happened. That's because this is open already. Oh, no! Ha. Ah. 
Interesting. Hit switch, press it. Well, pressing none of the, none of the buttons here actually do anything, so. Alright, um. It's a switch, press it. Yes. I do hear a clicking sound. It's the sound of bones breaking! Feels, uh, feels a little bit anticlimactic, really. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, you just have a singular goal. You just have to keep working towards it. And you're, like, two screens away from Toriel, so I think we should just kind of stop and grind for a while. Well, I want to go get the knife first. Which is right. on this side, isn't it? Yep. So, I'm going to get the knife. That might save me one or two rounds of battle. Let's go ahead and equip it. This is going to be your, uh, AGDQ stat. What? Awesome games done quick strat, you know? What strat? I'm just getting newer weapons and killing things with them. Yeah, exactly. Speed things up. Do I get attacked in this room? I think you attacked anywhere. Uh, something to note, though, is that as you kill more enemies in this game, it actually decreases your encounter rate, because there's less monsters around, right? Yep. Alright, so uh, I guess if this is going to be a hard slog to find more enemies, and I don't suppose it matters which room we find the enemies in, I'm just going to cut till we've got something here. Oh, hello. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, drop your pollen on me. Drop your pollen, I don't give a shit. Nothing like alone time, you say? Yeah, it means there's no witnesses. Oh, he's not even a witness anymore. He's still happy! He just got slashed, bro. Albeit with a toy knife, but still. He just probably, wants to be chill. Probably the harshest thing that's ever cut you before. Alright, so uh, I guess we'll, we'll just kind of have to keep up the commentary or start skipping to new encounters. Not that I guess it'll take too terribly long, but hey... All right. So. So. How you doing? Uh, doing fine. So how about that, uh, well, speaking of, uh, Summer Games Done Quick. Oh, hold on. There's there's killing to be done. Well, go ahead. Right. We can talk about Summer Day Games Done Quick. Yeah. I also had killing of animals this year. Oh, yeah. I did, I did just send you a, uh, a picture there. Yeah, like you did. Fluttershy was very disappointed in everyone. Yeah. Fluttershy's reaction to killing the animals. Come on. Yep. That kind of it's kind of mean, but dude, it was it was pretty uh, pretty hectic as you know all three of the other guys got dropped out of the Super Metroid run, and all that was left was Behemoth, and that was his first time out. That was his pretty first solid showing, all considered. Yeah, yeah, he's the only one that actually managed to be standing at the end of the game. Everybody else just fucking died, man. Because they all agreed, like, hey, go go for the absolute uh, minimal limit. Only got three E tanks. Which you know, that's kind of. I don't know if I could play to those rules. I, I kind of think that gets in the way of my enjoyment a little bit. Well, sometimes you just gotta challenge yourself every now and again. If it's something that you're very familiar with, like those guys are. Yeah, I suppose. But I'm not big on the whole challenging myself thing. I suppose. Why can't I kill these three? Why don't I get to fight these three? Oh. That sucks. Anyways. Let's come back and pop a save here. So I think we're probably going to be doing it in episodic format that just clear out an area and then move on kind of thing. Although I'm sure it can take more than an hour to clear out an area. Uh, depends. Like, I think once we get to the later episodes, uh... Guys, well, well, let's lay it out right here. So, like, the ruins is one area, Snowden is another, waterfall. Then, uh, Hotland and the core are actually combined, so... So, as, yeah, you can just start killing things in the core. Essentially, yeah. And it's, uh, but you have, like, a count of 40 kills in those. Oh, wow. Yeah. We should probably, I don't know, look towards getting a kill counter going on this thing here. That would require paying attention. Well, I can just go back through the video and edit it to add in, you know, the numbers as they appear. Ooh, that one went fast. Farmed locally. Meaning, from your body. Well, then, certainly local, isn't it? Yeah. My love increased. I am love four. 
What is it that uh, that San said that uh, LV stood for at the end? Uh, love. Level of violence. Yeah, okay. Kind of stretching that, isn't it, a bit, though? Yeah, and then execution points. Yeah. I think Toby Level was just taking the piss. Level of violence is probably... Yeah. Execution uh, points kind of makes sense, though. Yeah, Toby was taking the piss that day, let's just say that much. Oh, guys, you have no idea how little I fear you. I should probably take out Migosp first, but then again, I suppose it's easier if uh, if Nothing the other guy bad. is dead, because he this guy won't do anything. Yep. All right. Timing based, baby. And then when I get the boxing gloves, I get to beat people to death. Yeah, the tough gloves. Yes. Yeah, you know, because it's like tough love. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh. Naps to Blue laugh. I know it's a nice effort. But I'm sure that people will enjoy it. I'm I'm taking enjoyment in the fact that you tried. At least you took the time to tell a joke to me. Yeah, m most people they wouldn't really, you know, attempt it, but you you did, you did. So thank thanks a bunch. Um, can I can I get a different joke though, or maybe give this one back? You know, a, you know, that was like a good, like, you know, baseline joke. Let's see what else you can work with. Well, okay then. I don't think you're ready for this jelly. I don't think you're ready for this. this is, no, please stop. This is you... too, too bootylicious for me. Yeah, let's run with that. Yeah, okay. I'm waiting for, for Migosp to just one day jump up and try to sm snatch me out of the air. He's a guy who really enjoys his me time. What don't we all, though? That was perfect center. Come on. Come on, everybody, come out. What are you all afraid of? Oh, that's right, me. <laughs> Charlie Donna, the jumper? Mm. Well, I did make it to level four uh, in my original playthrough. Yep. But I probably did a, a lot sooner than this. Oh, actually, no, I think you're, um, you're still in snow to me, you're still killing people, so... And I just gave that shit up, like, oh, wait, there's a pacifist way to do it. Which, Look again, I wouldn't... Now, except for all those people I killed beforehand, oh... I wouldn't have gotten the pacifist run ending anyways if I did it full pacifist the first time through, so... I'm not hurting too hard about it. Yeah, well, like you do anyways. But well, you're still indignant, it's like, what? Well, I gave these people all these mercy and you're still angry at humans. Fuck. I know, right? But nobody came. Okay, so I guess that is our little clue. Yeah, so let's head on down to Toriel. Well, yeah, there is a save point in there, isn't it? Toriel took care of the ruins! <laughs> I, uh... No one's gonna get wave your groceries ever again. Why do we still get random encounters if everybody's dead? Oh, they are reminding the fuck out of me, aren't they? Yeah. They're like, yeah, you... you need to know what you did. And if you can hear the music, it actually changes quite si significantly as well from this point on. Unfortunately, I can't hear that. Yeah, I know. Just mentioning. Wow, they are really rubbing it in. Hey, look what you did, you monster. They are really just 100% convinced, like, you know, I need to know that nobody came. Okay, so Toriel, does your song change at all? No. No, I'm not hurt. Go ahead and heal me. Oh yeah. Uh, you uh, you probably don't want to go out there. It's a little bit of a mess. Yeah, yeah it's kind of dusty back there. You might want to clean that up. Yeah, um, you might find a few blood stains too. Can, I I smell what the rock is cooking. So how about how about them naming Sabin John Cena in this year's FF6 run? Yeah. Yeah. Shit was tight. Yeah. Actually, I don't remember the run too much. I don't know if he... Had, I think I actually skipped that part, but... Uh, did they actually do the uh, suplex on the train? I, I didn't catch that part. Yeah. So, I'm just gonna have myself a nap here. Oh, thanks for the pie. 
talking about knives, why don't you head on to the, ch the kitchen for a bit? Sure. I'm down for that. Um, size of the pie intimidates you too much. Bullshit. There's some white fur stuck in the... Okay, for some reason, there is a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. I can't steal it. Where are the knives? Nice! That's, that's a little Easter egg for me. Yeah, yeah, things kind of change it a little bit. They start to recognize. All right, Toriel, we need to have a talk. Oh, you are, you should not be glad to have me here. I will cut the books. I will kill the bugs. I will fucking piss on your curriculum. You'll uh, sharpen the uh, fire stoking tools again? That's right. You want to be a teacher? Well, you have to learn an important lesson first. Why don't you teach me how you die? Alright. When can I go home? No, it's not my home. This house would be in flames if I had my way. 72 uses for snails? Stomp on them 72 times. Do you know that snails have a chainsaw-like tongue called a radula? Okay, that's pretty awesome. A chainsaw tongue? Fuck oh, yeah, sign me up. Where you going, bitch? No, 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 no. You will not escape your fate. Well, I, actually, the whole fate thing happens at the door, doesn't it? Kinda, sorta. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. No one will ever be able to leave again. That'd be a good child. No! That's the opposite of what I am. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. How many of them actually started killing people? I gotta wonder about that, actually. You know, all the past children that came down here, did, were they violent at all? Did they try to kill people? Some people play with that notion. I mean, it's never really spelled out. Some people theorize that that is actually how Undyne lost her eye. Or, you know, she did lose her eye. Some people say she also wears the eye patch just to look cool. It, it does feel like when you go through that there is a general mistrust of people, but it's not based on anything. It's not founded on anything other than just Asgore's word. So now, the Toriel fight begins. Oh, 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 oh! You, you really hate me that much. It ain't personal, baby. It's just business. <laughs> wow. Now I see who I was protecting by keeping you here. Oh boy. I'm starting to feel a little remorse. Need to swallow that. Not you. But them. <laughs> wow, they give me a super crit. <sighs> Holy shit, that was cold blood. Ooh, can I get the soul? Give me the soul. No. It's gone. Bye, goat mom. Monster. Yeah. yeah. Well, who's the real monster here? Me or the monsters? Hmm. Uh, hmm. Feels a bit like that's episodic. I don't know. You want to press on? Oh, uh, well, we have to press on to get the next next save point anyways. We can't go back and get the last one? Uh, well, so we got a bit more time. That's only like 35 minutes in. Yeah, we, we haven't done all that much. So let's just see if we can get to kill Sans. You never get to fight Sans in the game, do you? No answer. Hello! <laughs> You're not really human, are you? Yeah, Jerry's still out on that. No, you're empty inside. Just like me. In fact, you're Kira, right? Yeah. You're still inseparable after all these years. Listen, I have a plan to become all-powerful. Even more powerful than you and your stolen soul. I'm listening. Let's destroy everything in this wretched world. Everyone, everything in these worthless memories. Let's turn them all to dust. Okay. I'm down. I'll make a partnership. So, Flowey's actually calling us out on it now. Yeah, well, he knows better. He knows better. Yeah. He knows what... So, so apparently, I'm straight up Kira. He remembers a very violent person from his past. I guess. I don't know. 
Maybe I was one of the children in the village that killed him. Or the original... What? Fallen child? Hold on. Why is there suddenly a screen block? Oh, because it's the next screen. I don't remember that. So, yep, stick broken. I'm expecting lots of things to start changing now. Who are you so I can kill you? Ah, uh, fuck it. Are the options going to become different? You'll see. All right, lay it on me, Skeleton. Human, don't you know how to greet the new pal? No. Turn around and shake my hand. Can I put a knife in you instead? I don't get the choice, do I? Well, technically, he's not standing in your way right now. He is alive. And I have a mission. <laughs> oh, Whoopi Cushion can't hand trick. It's always funny. Uh, that's, uh, your cute laugh. Or, uh, emote. At all. Ooh. Oh, I like this. It's already different. She lady. You really know how to pick him, huh? Oh, she's gone, sir. Okay. That's fine. Everyone's got their own sense of humor. I'm Sam. Sam's a skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now, but... You know... I don't really care about capturing anybody. The only thought on my mind is how hard would I have to pry to get those teeth out of your head? Now my brother, Pyrus. He's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. Oh, neat. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the bars too, I can stop anyone. Cool. Come on, Papyrus. Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. Alright. Uh, okay, I guess you don't have to. Oh, are we starting an early encounter? Sam! Sans! Have you found a human yet? You are asserting yourself, dude. You want to be Papyrus again? Oh, yeah. Okay, fine, you get Papyrus back. But I'm taking Sans. Fair trade, right? If you're sure about that. Okay. Alright. Yeah. Really? Wowee! Guess that's settled. Peace. That worked out, huh? <laughs> Hi. You're just gonna stare at me, or...? Yeah. Just a conveniently shaped lamp, so okay, I'm, I'm down to stand this guy down. Cool. Well, I'd be straightforward with you. My brother would really like to see a human. So, you know, it'd really help me out if you kept pretending to be one. Sir, you have no idea. Ah, uh, good times. 16 left. Oh, nice. Yeah, I so now the save points will give you counters for how many to kill us. Awesome. Oh, joy! Snowdrake. Hi, Snowdrake. Ice, Ice to, to meet you. <laughs> We both had the same thought. Yeah. Oh, it's been still run to the ground anyways. Yep. Ooh, you know, baby. And you know what the honest truth is? I have not actually seen Batman and Robin. It sucks. I have no doubt. Tough glove time. Okay. Let me equip the tough glove. And I'll just put some other weapons away. I'm wondering if I get to actually do, like, weapon storage later on. You know what I mean? Just like, is there a weapon trade-off sub mini game kind of thing? Fifteen left. Ooh, baby. Nah, I'm not even gonna bother with this guy today. So, Sans, when's the human showing up? I want to look my Sunday best, or at least my Tuesday pretty good. I like that one. Don't you only have one outfit? Yeah, but I could style my hair. Oh, right. Good idea. Say, uh, why don't you look over there? Yeah? We're doing this gag again? Sans! Oh my god! I'm dizzy. What am I looking at? Behold. 
my god! Why are you telling me to look at a rock? Hey, what's that in front of the rock? Oh my god! I have no idea what that is! Well, it's not a rock. Not a rock? Oh no! By process of elimination, that means it's a human! Dude, you just... you have such a process of elimination right there. Ahem! A human! Uh, prepare yourself for hijinks, for low jinks! Dangers, fuzzles, capers, jeepers! Being captured, and other sorts of fun activities! Oh, I'm gonna so enjoy killing you. The refreshments will be provided. If you dare. <laughs> if you dare. <laughs> and you don't even bat an eye, huh? No, I don't. Wow, they're just commenting on how callous and cruel and insensitive I am. I'm waiting for my happy face thing to show up. Oh, I, I did it wrong. I forgot. Yeah. I forgot the weapon I'm using. You forgot how to punch. I mean, you're good at cutting and all that, but you're just kind of... <laughs> Dude, eat my balls. I figured it out. I'm waiting for my happy face to appear. Oh, doggo. Did something move? Was it my imagination? I can only think moving, th moving things. Hey, I can't stop screaming all of a sudden. Uh, who's there? Oh, boy. He knows what's up. That's right. Don't move an inch! It's, uh, almost a shame that the attacks don't change. Like the whole blue thing. Doggo is dead, ladies and gentlemen, and my love has increased. Yep. Yep. That's the thing that happens. Someone's been smoking dog treats. No more! Not I anymore! I have rid the streets of crime. Hello, snowman. Hello, I'm a snowman. Can I move? Traveler, if you could. Oh, he's, he's just noticeably... Oh, me. Who oh, am I? What are you doing? Soon there won't be any of me left. Oh, boy. Stop. Please. <laughs> Useless pile of snow. That's cruelest of all. That's probably the worst thing I could have done. Oh, there's plenty of worse things to do. You're so lazy! You were napping all night! I think that's called... sleeping. Excuses, excuses! Oh-ho! The human arrives! In order to stop you, my brother and I have created some puzzles! I think you'll find this one quite oh. shocking. Wow! Bring it on, bitch! Woo-hoo-hoo! This is a different run entirely. Uh, for you, see, this is the invisible... Uh, hmm, you must be having culture shock. You see, where I come from, it's a living tradition to suffer through horrible puzzles for no reason. So I <laughs> could just walk back there and... <laughs> oh boy. Bring it. Uh, why could we get a human that likes puzzles? It would make my brother happy if you played along. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not trying to make your brother happy. What? Oh. Thought yep. I was being blocked there for a second. Yep. Alright, let's take a quick path to the right here. His and hers dog houses, yeah. Can I leave mines in there? Alright, let, let's... the dogs did already. Let's play the soccer game. Are you making a dog poop joke? Yes. Good on you. Praying mantises. Satellite. What? Nothing. What'd you say about satellites? Yeah. It's a euthanism for poop. Oh. Yeah. Screw it, I'm bored of this game. Let's move on. Human, I hope you're ready for... Sans, where's the puzzle? It's right there, on the ground. Trust me, no way will skip this one. Oops. Knew I should have put down Junior Jumble instead. What? Junior Jumble? Finally, something we both agree on! <laughs> Guess you don't like word searches, huh? Me neither. I'm more of a funny pages kind of guy. <laughs> He's like, uh, I'm not certain talking to you is a good idea anymore. Yep. Yeah. So he does not give me any different dialogue. 
Notice he's winking his left eye at you. Just note for later. Okay. 14 left. That is... We are doing terribly then. Yeah. Hmm. Oh yeah, there's Dog of Me and Dog Ressa over there. Hey, friend! Lesser dog. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you didn't even pet him last time. At least you did once, but you didn't go all the way. How's this for going all the way? We just killed a dog. Yeah, you did. I am it's killing my now. soul. I'm doing this Kylo Ren style. Depressed with vines, huh? Yeah, I think you're uh, getting a little assistance here. Oh, yeah. Flowey is all up ends. So do Dogami and Dogaressa count as two? Let's find Probably. out. Yeah. I'm going to go back and save real quick. Thirteen left. So if I kill Dogami and Dogaressa, and it says eleven left, then we know. Makes sense. Yes. Of course, I don't really know for sure, but... We'll find out. I want to see how much they rage when you kill one of them. Identify your smell. The same old joke. Makes me want to eliminate you! Uh. Alright, so who dies first? Uh... This dog Amy. Let's kill dog Amy. Ow! Y'all, y'all ain't even registering this fact, are you? We're actually ch oh, well, well. I was gonna say I changed my mind because I think most mutters actually do kill Dog Amy first. We can do Dog Aressa. Make yourself unique. All right. I have just beaten your lover senseless, and now you are about to be beaten to death. Take my wife's fleas. Nyeh, nyeh, nyeh. Wah, wah. Got a little bit scuffed there, but I am pretty well beyond the point of being worried about, uh, being worried about harm here. Yeah, we got the same HP as your first run, so... And there goes Dogaressa. Wine. Yeah, there's no love to send out now, is there? Just fall into the ground. That's kind of sad. Dog of me is broken hearted. If I wasn't on a kill everything run, sir, I would give you mercy just to live with the loss. Technically, that'll make it even worse, wouldn't it? Yeah. You go on and see and tell what everybody else what happened. 13 left. So Wait, that, that they didn't even fucking count. Mm. Shit. Well, alright. I'm kind of trying to remember if there are any more areas or threats along the way. I suppose we just got to keep moving on. Oh, hello, friend. Oh, Ice oh, Cap Jerry. Oh, fucking Jerry. Oh, Jerry. Hold on. I'm going to see if Ice Cap approves. Oh, shit. So, awesome. Jerry is pretty, pretty tough, actually. Kasai. Well, you did a pain in the arse to kill last time, too, if you remember. You, well, actually managed, you killed him twice, I think. No, just once. I uh, should watch out for the sign wave. I mean, you all opened up your eyes and you saw the sign? All signs point. God, I could go for some KFC right now. I just had a butt ton of A&W today, so... They're all owned by the same company now, you know. Taco Bell, KFC, A&W. Yeah, they are. We have our combined KFC and Taco Bell. Yep. I don't know. Every so often, I get like a, you know, just a hankering for some KFC. I have like one or two bites of their chicken, and I also remember, yeah, this is why I don't eat their stuff very much. Dude, you need to have original recipe wings. That's what you need to have. The wings Maybe are the best. Maybe that's what part. I need. I don't know. Wings are the best part of the chicken. Oh yeah. Actually, more fond of the breast. Actually, I like white meat. Well, wings are white meat. Oh, well, do you have some dark meat in there too? No, the dark meat is the lower quarters. See, because, and I get to speak up on this because I actually did work at a KFC for like five years and 
probably, you know, one of the nicer jobs I've worked at, but uh, because the chickens spend a lot of time walking around rather than flying, then they've got a lot more, you know, musculature going on down on the over underside there. So that right. darkens the meat. That and makes sense. And because the uh, the breast and the wing they don't get a lot of work, then you know that's uh, comparatively a lot less. So that's why the breast and wing are considered more tender because there's less connective tissue because there's less musculature. But um, you know the dark meat because there's been more you know juices basically piled in there. The the muscles have had to toughen up. Then they do have uh, they do have a lot more flavor to them. So I'm told. And actually, yeah, they do kind of have, you know, a bit more chickeny flavor. Let's just say that because of the fact that the thighs and legs are tougher and have more connective tissue, then they are actually pretty damn perfect for uh, for things like like fricassees, which are long cooking. So, all right, I'm gonna get rid of Ice Cap because I think he's a weirdo. Yeah. No bedtime, only dead time. That is not the same Snowdrake. No, that's his uh, older brother, actually. Really? Only, only appears after you kill one Snowdrake. Never. Never do your homework. You are a terrible influence. I think that's half the joke. Nice. Actually, something I could bring up. Apparently, this is some strange thing that Toby Fox did for this is that if you're doing this kind of run, if you somehow do not encounter and kill a Snowdrake, it actually considers it a failure. Really? Yeah. I don't see how I could possibly do that, because every uh, every enemy, every character in this game is actually characterized. Yeah, well, someone just went to the trouble of finding that out. Hmm. So some people say that... Uh... Actually, I'd go into a theory that I should probably save for later. <laughs> You gotta wonder if Toby Fox just hates a dude named Jerry. I think so too, because he has those little personality traits of people who you know are typically annoying and such. Yeah. You know, yeah. You, everyone has this friend, you know. Everyone has that one asshole in their life that just you know fucking drops shit on everything that you do, and they don't even realize how much of a pain in the ass they are. And, you know, you just kind of want to get through to those people. You want to say, listen, it's great that you have a sense of humor and that you feel comfortable in our surroundings, but if you talk enough shit, we will start to think you're an asshole. And then you don't get invited to things. Yeah, I've been kind of been noticing that, too, in my little social circle there, but... What, you're getting left out? No, no, someone else, but uh. I don't know. But that is I think, you know, I should be doing something to help try and improve the situation. I don't know if that's really within my power. It's hard to go up to somebody and just say to them, Listen, dude, um, I hate to be the one to tell you this, but we kind of think you're an asshole, and that's why you're not going out with us as much. If you could sit there and work on it with me, then, you know, I can get you back in the team. It's, it's not easy to go up to somebody and tell them that. Well, sometimes it does take that kind of shock, though, to really bring someone out of that rut, you know? Well, I think that... Kind of the socially acceptable way to find out about that shock is somebody had a birthday and this guy wasn't invited. You know, that's more of a social snubbing because if you just go up to somebody and confront them, you know, it, they're going to go on the defensive right away. I mean, they might, they might learn about it sooner. They might figure it out a bit sooner, but that's going to create perhaps a little bit more hostility than a lot of things. Then again, some people do appreciate the honest approach, so, you know... Yeah. I don't know. It does seem a bit passive aggressive to do it that way too, though, right? It's it's hard. There's it's it's very difficult to, in a sociably acceptable manner, to let somebody know. Listen, you're being a dick, and you need to stop. Otherwise, we're going to stop hanging out with you. Which, honestly, you know, that might just be the most effective way. Just straightforward. Let me, let me give everybody some clues here, okay? If 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 you do this or if you don't. But especially if you do this sort of thing, if you're the type of person that every time a conversation comes up, you have to say some smart-ass shit that rags on somebody, that, you know, says, hey, it's because of those fucking assholes over there, am I right? <laughs> That's not cool. Um, if you basically interject your opinion unasked for, that's a little bit of an asshole thing. 
Basically, if somebody else is enthusiastic seeming about something, and you shit on what they're enthusiastic about, that's a bit of an asshole thing. Yeah, I've never enjoyed that kind of personality, the ones who kind of like instantly dump on something for a really so seeming reason. Like, I was bringing up like that new Voltron show, whatever. Yeah. And I'm like, and my group's of coworkers, and I was like, oh yeah, I watched Netflix, it's a pretty good show, and like, you guys go check it out, and so one guy's like, oh fine, I might check it something, and the other guy's like, no, I won't ever watch that. Yeah, it's like, dude, you won't ever? Really? I mean, that's a that's a strong way to feel about something pretty innocuous. And I, I used to be guilty of this sort of thing, too. I, I was in the whole, you know, fucking movie versus book, fuck, fuck movies, man, books are the pure. But then I, I just got over it. Because, honestly, for a person who isn't a book person, you can't really sell the books to somebody who got to enjoy the movie. You know, if, if they like the movie version better, then hey... That's that's their prerogative, man. Yeah, sometimes it's a lot easier for them to get into that kind of media instead of a book, you know? And, and even if you're complaining about the purity of the conversion, well, sometimes you got to make concessions between medias. Case in point, and spoiler alerts, Game of Thrones, everybody, but they do not strictly follow the book by any way, shape, or form in the Game of Thrones HBO series. No, no, no. I mean, you know, the same people die for the most part, but, you know, they change names left and right, they, they change deaths left and right, certain people who should not be alive are not, you know, are still alive and, and kicking, certain people who basically, well, should be there aren't. I'm talking about Lady Stoneheart, which you, you wouldn't know about, I'm sure. Probably not, I only finished the first book, so... Yeah, and that was a slog and a half, because here's the thing, if you didn't start watching Game of Thrones, oh boy, the final three. So, if you didn't start watching Game of Thrones as the HBO series, then you probably would not have read the books. And one problem that the books have, and, I'll, and this is, you know, me me introducing the books to my 70 uh, some -odd year old mother who is an English professor at FIU, she's like, it's a good book, but I am so fucking bored of all these names that they keep throwing out there. It's like every single character gets named. And it's really hard to keep track of who the names belong to. And who's important, who isn't, right? Exactly. So, I mean, you know, Ned Stark, I, I, I think it's not a spoiler by this point. If you haven't seen Game of Thrones yet, then, you know, I'm, I'm guessing you pretty much didn't plan to. Ned Stark does die in the first book and in the first season, and you think he's your main character up until then. Like, yeah, this story is all about Ned Stark and how he deals with, oh, his head's been chopped off. I think it's a brilliant subversion, though, of the typical, like, fantasy trope. Well, of course, it's it's old, old hat right now to say it's fucking Sean Bean, you should have expected it. <laughs> I don't know any roles outside of uh, Lieutenant Sharp that Sean Bean has survived. Oh. So, okay, this should be... Determination. <laughs> That's all they have to say. So, we just cleared out Snowden and the ruins. I think that was done in pretty good time. Yeah, it's actually surprised how quickly that went through, so... We did a good job of killing. So, yeah. tune in next week to see how things go against Papyrus. Rambler, you prepared for all the murder that's gonna happen? Well, I'm kind of set in this course, aren't I? You really did. No sense jumping off the train now. It is this guy's fault that I'm doing three series of the same exact game in a row. And uh, it is to Toby Fox's credit that it is su sufficiently different content now. It is it is quite different now how the creatures start treating you. So, anyway, I want to thank everybody for watching. Once again, my name is Alex, also known as Solonus Dracone, with me as usual, Rambler81. And this has been Undertale. Kill everything. Good night, Sleep everybody. Sleep well, everybody. Sleep very well. <laughs>